today the Nile will run red. What is up, guys? It's Apollo here. Welcome to the magical land of Egypt. So we got a siege, a siege of uh, Alexandria. And you know what's really interesting? You know you're in Egypt when the palm trees be floating, guys. Look at this. Look at this. The palm trees be like, yo, yo, I don't want any of this stuff. And they're just floating above the armies, you know, classic, classic Egypt, mysterious land of magic, mysterious land of magic. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny. Uh, so we've got a great match today. This is a three versus three siege battle and it is starting off pretty quick here. We got a sally out from one of the, def the defenders. This is Syracuse or not <laughs> Seleucids. Moving out some Hellenistic cataphracts right into the front face of these poor levy freemen. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, they definitely charged the levy freemen and they utterly annihilated them. And essentially what they're doing, they the Bowiei, so one of the attackers, Bowiei, have set up a ton of siege equipment and they're just going to throw up uh, some, some levy freemen. And naturally, very smart play by the Seleucid. It's going to sally out and just disrupt that. It's this. This is not like this is this is well played by the Seleucids. I will say, it's basically not devastating for Bowie because they are just losing Levy Freeman. It's more of an inconvenience, and it can throw off the pace of the attackers. So. You don't want to get too greedy. Honestly, at this point, I'd just retreat the cab and get out of there. But here comes the Seleucid, or not the, jeez, the Lus Lusitani, the Iberian boys. So this is one of Bowie's uh, allies. So Lusitani's on the field trying to support their allies. And they are certainly going to do that. That cab is so fast. So fast. Look at him go. And then they're going to uh, catch the cataphracts here. So well done. Uh, great teamwork there. It wasn't, again, it wasn't the end of the world for the attackers for Bowie Eye, but it's just inconvenient. That is for sure. Now over on this side, it looks like, uh, looks like the battle has, uh, well, they've already knocked down the wall. So we got Rome as the final attacking force working with Lusitani on this side. Now, on defense, like we saw, we have the Seleucids. We also have Macedonia. So, a lot of Greek power here. The, the Seleucids are more of, like, Hellenistic, influenced by the Greek, right? The Greeks. Same thing for Egypt, but Egypt's not here on the battlefield. As much as Netflix tries to erase history and rewrite it, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. The Egyptians... At this time, we're very much Greek. Anyways, uh, we've got uh, Mesesily. Or Massilia? Wait, Mesesily, right? <laughs> or Mes No, yeah, Mesesily. Okay. These are like... I like to call them the Desert Romans. It's kind of like these um, desert uh, soldiers LARPing as Romans. I know... I, you, no, it's still based. It's still epic. So, they're still very good. I like them very much, you know? It's like, you know, when whenever your opponent's like, No Rome! Nobody plays as Rome. All right. I'm playing Mesesily then. I'm playing as Desert Rome. But anyways, this is going to be an absolute brutal fight here for the Romans in Lusitani because they're going to have to fight through many, many great defensive units of Greece and Hellen Hellenist Hellenistic Greece, right? The Hellenistic uh, cultures like the Seleucids. They've got some deadly, deadly warriors that are going to put up a brutal fight for Egypt. Now, over on this side, uh, we have the Romans throwing forward the Hestati. So the Hestati, great. It's a great, it's kind of like the Levy Freeman of Rome. Not exactly, but you know what I mean. They're a cheap unit. They're pretty good, though. They're much better than the Levy Freeman. And so he's kind of throwing them into the fight first to try to break down the defenses of the... Seleucids who have sent forward their hillmen and the hillmen are kind of like the levy freemen you know of uh of the uh, barbarian factions a cheap unit ready to be tossed into the fight they also have projectile uh 
capability just like the Levy Freeman, so they're pretty good. They actually push back some Hastati, and here comes another fresh unit of Hastati, but they are experiencing a wrath of Archer Fire. And honestly, I wouldn't waste too much ammo on the uh, Hastati, for they are pretty weak. And you don't want to waste too much ammo on a weak unit like that. I know he's trying to help out his Hillman. And he's trying to hold this position without committing too many, uh, too, you know, too much uh, in terms of infantry. But he's using way too much ammo, in my professional opinion. No, I'm just kidding. I'm no professional. But I, I am very cautious. Personally, I'm very cautious with my ammo. So... Anyways, Lusitani's moving up another siege tower. They're using the Iberian Swordsman. And they've got this tower in place. It looks like they might charge forward here, or they're thinking about it. Now, over on the other side, Boyai. Uh, they have finally got their siege equipment to the walls. Now, it's not a huge deal that their attack was delayed over on this side. Because, yes, you want, as attackers, you do want to try to attack at the same time. But it's not the end of the world because he's kind of fighting his own battle right here against Masasili. He's fighting his own fight and, uh, you know, it timing isn't as important, say, you know, over here. Obviously, you want the forces to attack around the same time. Now, I am a little worried uh, for the attackers here because they have all of their troops way back here. And I'm curious how they're going to go about this assault. They have only really used their weaker troops, but I personally, I'm not a fan. Here we go. Here comes, here comes another fight. I'm not a fan of doing this. Like, I'm not a fan of sending in cheap troops by themselves, heavily outnumbered by a superior unit. Because they're just going to die. Like, at best... You're going to get the enemy to maybe waste some ammo on you. You know what I mean? But overall, what I like to do is, okay, yeah, you want to send in the cheap troops first. That's fine. But support them with better units. You know, don't don't go in in waves. I'd say like 99% of the time you don't want to attack in waves. And here comes the next wave for the attackers. Lusitani. Uh, coming in and look at this flank here again another reason why you don't want to go in in waves it gives opportunities for the defenders like this to get behind the attackers to get behind units and just evaporate them so now this unit is going to perform even worse it's even it's in an even crappier situation unbelievable unbelievable so, yeah, really good fight there. Really interesting struggle. And then back over this way. Boei pushing forward. So they have now broken down, broken down the great walls of Egypt. You know how long they spent? How many slaves built these walls? Well, it broken down in a matter of seconds. Maybe they didn't build them that well. Uh, desert legionaries await their foe to trek the rubble of the sacred walls but yeah they're just waiting over there and, and bowie is not not sending anything forward just yet so they hang back with their levy freeman mixed in with the celtic warriors they send forward siege towers to the great gates of alexandria yeah so alexandria baby ready to fight and same thing over here, guys. Um, is a, There's kind of a, a weight in the battle. Now, Lusitani is pushing in once again, kind of in a wave. Veteran shield warriors this time, though. Two very skilled units of soldiers. Veteran. And look at them get evaporated. You see, that is a bummer. You could have potentially have had your cheaper units do that earlier. But unfortunately for Lusitani, their elites take the brunt of that j that javi toss. And now we've got a lot of units mobilizing from the Seleuz or Macedon. And they form a defensive square around the destroyed rubble of their walls. Archer fire coming down once again. Ooh, I really hope. Ooh. It's very effective. I'll give them that. 
but I really hope that they don't regret their decision of using up their ammo towards the end of the game. The end of the battle. This is no game, this is real life! All right, here comes Rome now. Rome's following up with some elite units. I wish he sent it forward, sent them in for it a little bit sooner because now those uh, Lusitani units have been have been utterly vanquished. Over here, nobody's attacking, so it looks like they're going to concentrate most of their forces over here. The, the Romans are forming like a wedge formation. Honestly, if I was the Seleucids, which I thought they were Macedon, but it's the Seleucids, I would just charge in. Don't let them throw their pila. Charge in. Surround. Engulf. Instead, they're just going to let them sit there and throw, which is a, das a, a, a disastrous decision. Now back over this way. Look at this. Bowie Eye is committing to the fight. Taking on... What is this unit? Slave infantry. The Celtic warriors. This should be no match for them. They should easily break through and get this wall unless Masesli sends up more troops. Now back over this way. Oh, Bowie Eye is getting utterly, utterly spanked. My gosh, guys. They're getting absolutely decimated. Uh, decimated? That only means like 10% of the unit. <laughs> Actually, Apollo, decimated. No, you get what I'm saying. They're getting destroyed. And they are sending in more and more units. I don't know, guys. This has been a rough start for the attackers. Is it over? Certainly not. But is it concerning? Certainly yes. All right. The Romans have decided to push in. I don't know if it was the Romans that pushed in or the Seleucids. Oh, my God. Look at the arrows coming down. How brutal is that? Imagine fighting Romans and then experiencing death from above. But there is some friendly fire as well. By the looks of it, it looks like Rome charged them. Look at this fight for Alexandria. The Seleucids, man. They're like, Alexander watches down upon us defend his sacred city. Here we go, more noble fighters from Lusitani as they brutally fight it out in the courtyard of Alexandria. And more and more Romans are piling in, guys. You know, I think the defenders just gave them too much ground. I think they should have held a tighter position like here, but it certainly looks cool. Very cinematic. More and more defenders are starting to shift their units to concentrate, to focus on this position here now heading back over to the situation with Masesli and Bowie Eye Bowie Eye is really trying to spearhead his uh, his forces through this defense but so far Masesli Masesli yeah, Mises has not budged and they have a lot of reserves waiting in the back even with some projectile Pila capabilities. Fantastic. Desert Legionaries. Really, really well done. Now, over here, we've got some tribal slingers waiting in reserve. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there, but he does have some units far in reserve. He's got more slingers over this way as well. Waiting for the opportunity to kill some Bowie Eye. So, the fight is still raging on. I don't believe Bowie Eye is going to send any more over to this front. But it doesn't matter. The Celtic Warriors should clean up these the slave infantry. We'll see, guys. But they continue to push. They continue to push into the lines of Masesali. Dang it, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Lusitani. Lusitani's pushing. Pushing the uh, Macedonians. As they hold with their thorax uh, swordsmen. So now the attackers are bringing the fight to two fronts in this open courtyard of Alexandria. The fight over here continues on. It looks like it's going decently well for the defenders. Multiple units, some thorough spears, very nice. 
holding. Here comes the Romans as they push in. Thorax Swordsman holding against a healthy unit of Cohort. But here comes fresh troops from the uh, Seleuc Seleuc uh, Seleucids. They go in for a charge and then they retreat, bolstering up the morale, you know, just for a little bit. My goodness. My goodness. Here comes Desert Legionaries pushing forward. Heavy melee infantry. So even Masasili is sending over some extra troops to help hold against the Roman war machine who have subjugated the Lusitani and forced them to fight for their empire. So, a uh, good stand by Macedon there against Lusitani. Let's see if they, they can keep holding. But, guys, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at what's left in these forces, and I just don't see enough. Look at all the reserves over here in the town center. And they still have reserves over in the main fight here. There goes Masasili. They might move around and try to flank Lusitani. I think this is, I mean, for Rome and Lusitani... This is their biggest push. This is their great push. And if they can't break through, if they can't slaughter the defenders, it's over. But you can see, look at this push, but look at all the reserves. Now, Bowie Eye has to also pick up the slack. And guys, it looks like he's picking up the slack. Bowie Eye is starting to chip away at Misesely. And let's not forget... Masasili has sent over reserves over to the Roman front. So he's not at full strength here against Bowiei. Meanwhile, Bowiei is sending everything he has. And look at this flanking maneuver by Bowiei. Look at this. This is going to be huge. That or he's going for the tower over here, which might be the case. Here comes the general. He's charging in. We got Oathsworn. The general already thrown into the fight. There's a lot of moving pieces right now as we watch the frames drop. He is going for the tower. I don't know if that's worth it. Here comes a reserve force. It's just like town guard, but it's better than nothing. As they charge in, they're going to face this unit. They're going to die against these desert... Or, or, I'm sorry, the uh, sword followers. But on the other side, desert legionaries try to flank them. And in the chaos, the Celtic warriors, uh, they're trying to surround the forces over on this side as well. Here comes more forces on this front. Amazing. It is just a complete brawl right now between these forces. Oh. Oh. And Bowie, I, if their skilled units, if their skilled soldiers can win, this is going to be a great small victory for the attackers. So Bowie, I has punctured through the defensive units and they continue to bleed around and flank Masasili. This could be disaster for Masasili, but over here... Look at more and more Masasilian troops are having to, to commit to this fight against the Romans and Lusitani because the Romans are starting to break through. They are starting to break through and actually cause some havoc here. And here comes the forces of Macedon. They've won their fight on their flank. Let's not forget, Lusitani sent in some forces, but they have won. And now they're going to converge. They're going to dedicate. They're going to send all of their units to try to push back the Romans before it's too late. Let's get a bird's eye view of this. Look at this. They've got to hurry. They've got to defeat these forces because Bowie Eye, it's only a matter of time. A matter of time until Bowie Eye breaks through. Cecily is crumbling to the might 
of the Bowie Eye. All right, so yeah, they're fighting the good. Look, come on, just kill him already. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, they're going to take control of this, and then they're going to start pushing. The question is, does Masesley have enough to hold? And uh oh, look at all the reserves have been committed from the town center, the victory point, and they've dedicated all their forces over to this front. It does appear that, that Macedon might have enough to win this the macedonian general is in the fight royal peltis fighting syrian archers that is an easy task for them A great struggle going on over here. Two forces pretty desperate. Look at the Roman general coming over as well. He's going to probably use some generalistic abilities like inspiration and battle speeches to keep the men's heart pure. Oh, and he's going to charge in. My gosh. He's going to charge in to the royal peltis. Unbelievable. That's a crazy play by the Roman general. The Royal Peltis, I mean, how many kills do they have? 233. But they are weakening. They are certainly weakening. And now, ooh, we got Praetorian Guard. The Romans have sent in everything they've got. They might get flanked by the Royal Peltis. That could be trouble for the Praetorian Guard. Now over here, Massacely is basically holding back the ocean of green with one little dam. That is the noble infantry, the general of Massacely, desperately trying to hold back these attackers. But if you're looking at the balance of power, if you're looking at the balance of power, it looks still very promising for the defenders. My goodness, what are they doing? They form square here. They're basically, they know they're not gonna win, but they're just buying time. They're hoping that Macedon can win their fight, but they're throwing the life of their general away. Why? So we'll see what they can do. That's it though for them, basically. They've got a couple units coming over, but it's not much. And then over on this side, it does appear that Macedon is going to defeat Lusitani in Rome. Not without casualties, of course, but they are, they should come out on top. Now, here's the trick here. This is what they got to do. They got to move in, defeat this force. Even if you leave these archers alive, just get the main infantry out of there. Maybe try to kill the Roman general as well, but it looks like he's going to try to get the hell out of there. Smart play. And then you need to fall back. Fall back to the victory point, which is right here. And wait for Bowie Eye. What's left of Bowie Eye. Guys, I mean, Bowie Eye still has a healthy force. A healthy force. Look at him desperately trying to fight. Here comes some desert legionaries coming to bolster up. They're gonna let their general die. But that's what he wants. He wants an honorable death. Look at this guy. He's trying to get back up. He's like, I will continue to fight. Ah. Yeah. It appears that their forces are meeting their match. Now, Misesely is um, 
They're struggling, and it's only a matter of time until this flank completely falls. No, look at this. Macedon was not able to defeat all of the infantry. Now, they did kill most of it. Oh my gosh, they left Masas They left these slingers to die. In the chaos of this retreat, they leave vulnerable units to be crushed by the Roman general. What in the world? Why? The archers should have been the first to evacuate. Run, archers! Run! There's the general in his gold armor. Oh, man. Let's see if they can kill him, though. His archers will go down in infamy. In the Roman records. No, but the general plays it safe. He gets out of there. Get those archers out of there. You need every single soul you can save. Retreat these slingers. Retreat them. Curses. So they are going to be left to die there, guys. And this is it. This is what... Oh, actually... I am mistaken. The Seleucids have left their reserves. Look at this. They've got... They've got pikemen. Okay, okay, okay. This is looking a little better for... The defenders. But do they have enough men? Do they have enough soldiers willing to fight? And to defend Alexandria to the last man? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the attackers are just going to link up. And now we wait for the final assault on the town center of Alexandria. Will the Romans be victorious or will Macedon hold on and maintain the great city of Alexandria? We'll find out soon enough. All right, guys. The attackers have got their armies in position. They're now unloosing. They're letting loose all of their ammo so the attackers have done a good job of uh preserving their ammo uh, for the use of killing pikemen essentially so uh the pikemen there's some throw spears the pikemen are having to take shelter over here look at this they're down to let's see how many men they lost two men so not too bad oh are these pikemen here oh no what are you doing? These pikemen are screwed. Oh my gosh. Bowie yeah, is still having a lot of projectiles. You gotta just... I think initially they should have had to throw spears up there. They have big shields. Why were the pikemen in front of the throw spears? And now they're getting charged. They're getting flanked. Pikemen are going to move over and push, but now that leaves them open to the- Oh, look at this! Mercenary Thracian warriors! So they should hold here, but they lost so many pike- Look at this! Look how many men they've lost here! The projectiles, a brutal, brutal situation. Now Bowie is pushing forward. This is going to be, guys, this battle is going to be a photo finish. At this point, the bounce of power is slightly in favor of the attackers, but it still can be anyone's game. Oh, no. Look at this. Lusitani preserved their calf. And they're looking for a weakness. This forces the defenders to have a rear guard, which takes away infantry from the main fight. My goodness. They're going to charge in anyways. It's not a great charge. But I think what he's hoping it's going to do is going to keep these guys locked down. And then maybe they can like flank around somewhere else. I don't know. Here comes the Roman archers. They're going into this. So they're out of ammo. Both forces are just sending whatever they have. Not the best of men, but it's what they've got. And sure enough, this cab is dead. I don't really see the point of that maneuver. I mean, now they're moving their troops around the flank. Oh, they better hurry. 
If they did that a little bit sooner, they would be charging the archers by now. But they gotta, yeah, they gotta get over there. And I think they're gonna use a sacrificial Persian light archer unit to try to slow down this cav. Amazing. A great fight right there, but it's not gonna. Oh, and here comes more archers. And then the other calf stays. It's a smart play because I'm sure he was hoping this general would fully commit over to this flank. But he continues to defend the rear. Over this way, though, the infantry is starting to be too much. The, oh my gosh, the Victorians are muscling their way through. Did you think you would kill me, Archer boy? Oh, that guy killed him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so there's the great fight. But guys, the, looks like the defense is faltering. Honestly, at this point, I think you got to send them in. You got to stop this Roman spearhead. You could break the Romans here. Let's not forget or did they did they lose their general the roman general is gone i think yeah so you could break those romans with a good amount a good amount of force over this way we've got some spears reforming that's a good play right there very good play by macedon using the pikemen to hold off these streets very nice play Oh, but the Macedonians are breaking! Even after a successful play, it's because they see what's behind them. An army of green death. And then over here, the Cavs finally have a, an opportunity to charge. And they're going to charge the rear of the Seleucids. It's still not over, though. These are Royal Peltis. This is a really good unit. This is far from over. Oh! Cav charges in against Pikes, and they are successful in terms of charging before the Pikes get their pike down. Oh, n oh they break the Cav, but it's not they're about to be engulfed by two sides. Withdraw! Macedon and the Seleucids. It's all up to them. They also got a pike unit over here watching this tunnel. But they are getting flanked. This pike unit will be virtually useless in a matter of minutes. Matter of seconds. Unbelievable. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, a great struggle is happening here, guys. And as much of these Royal Pelt as as skilled as they are, I just don't think it's going to be enough. And I do believe the attackers are going to take this one. After a pretty rough start, they are going to take the siege. There they go. Charge in. Fantastic. A great battle at Alexandria. The pikes are still fighting here, guys. And, well, hold on. Hold on here just a second. If these royal peltas can break these guys, I don't know. These What are these, sword followers? They're not that great. Oh, but here comes Old Sworn. If they can kill the Bowie Eye General right here, maybe they've got it. Nah, it's over. The pikes are breaking. The Praetorians are killing them. And now we just have an epic stand by the royal peltas. And we are at the last couple seconds of the siege and the attackers are going to take this one there it is guys a costly victory but a victory nonetheless all right so great fight right there that really did start off pretty slow for the attackers wasn't great but they were able to turn it around bowie i did a great job against misesily really just fought through some challenging forces and, and broke through which put pressure on Macedon to force him to retreat 
But Rome and Lusitani, though severely wounded, did a ton of damage. Look at the carnage here. Ton of damage to the Seleucids and Macedonia. And the Seleucids also kept a rear reserve for the final stand, but it just wasn't enough. My God. Look at the carpet here. Carpet of dead troops. Really great fight. Really enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let's go ahead and look at the results here. This was sent in by LOL Norm cool so thank you so much for the battle replay he actually um he was one of the attackers he he didn't get a lot of kills but i feel like he was pretty uh used pretty like he did some things that were pretty um like helpful uh like at the beginning he protect his bowie eye ally and then he also used the cav at the end to really um weaken the frontal defense of the defenders uh, but yeah, GG to all the attackers, GG to all the defenders. This was an extremely close battle. I mean, if the defenders could have killed like one more unit, who knows? It could have caught a, it could have caused a chain route. Some great kills here with the archers and everything. Really fun fight. And guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does mean, it means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.